At this time, I would like to ask Father Sean O'Brien, the chaplain of the Rome Police and Fire Departments in the United County Sheriff's Office, to say the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the beautiful weather at this time of year and for the ability to be with family and friends. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts of freedom of family and of friendship. And most of all, Lord, as we gather today to remember the men and women who make it possible for us to appreciate those gifts, we thank you for them. We ask, Lord, that you watch over all firefighters and police officers, ambulance, brigade. We ask, Lord, that you watch over our military and our allies as all of these men and women each day put their lives on the line to protect, to serve, and to defend. And we ask this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Would everyone please rise for the singing of the national anthem by Kim Johnson Powell. Thank you, Kim. Today, we have the members of the Fire Department, the Police Department, the Eastern Air Defense Sector, the 224th Squadron, Security Force Squadron, the New York State Police, the United County Sheriff's Office, and the Amcare Ambulance. It's a true representation of those who protect our city. I'd also like to recognize our political leaders and their dignitaries in attendance. Mayor Jeffrey Lanigan, Public Safety Commissioner Ken White, Police Chief Kevin James, Fire Chief David Gratch, members of the Rome Common Council, John Nash, John Sprace, John Mortis, Linda Fazio, Ramona Smith, Frank Andes Anderson, Ricardo Dursey, and Dave Spraglia, Colonel Joseph Roops, Eastern Air Defense Sector Commander, Chief Master Sergeant Rob Zoldi, the Senior Enlisted Leader from EADS, Lieutenant Colonel Mike Kidd, the 224th Security Forces Squadron Commander, New York State Assemblywoman, Mary Ann Buttonshawn, State Senator Joe Griffo, United County Executive Anthony Pacenti, United County Sheriff Rob Mayshall, Rome City Court Judge Stephanie Vaselli, and Rome City Court Judge Greg Amoroso.
Ladies and gentlemen, today we gather to remember and honor a day that profoundly changed our lives and our world. September 11, 2001 remains etched in our hearts and our minds. A day of tragedy, but also a day of extraordinary bravery and unity. On that fateful morning, the world witnessed unprecedented acts of terror. The attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon and the brave passengers on Flight 93 demonstrated the depths of human vulnerability and the height of human courage. Today we remember the nearly 3,000 lives lost and we hold in our hearts the countless families affected by this heartbreaking event. In the midst of chaos and fear, we witnessed American spirit of resilience, heroism, and unity. Among the many stories of bravery that emerged, the roles of local first responders, including fire departments, police departments, and ambulance corps, shine brightly. Those men and women, our neighbors, friends, and family members, embody a commitment to serve that goes beyond the call of duty. On September 11, 2001, First responders from across the country answered the call to action with unwavering dedication. Their courage was evident in every decision made, every life risked, and every moment sacrificed in the effort to make our communities whole again. Local first responders, like those represented here today, Rome Fire, Rome PD, and AMCARE, are the backbone of our community safety and emergency response. We stand ready to protect our community in its darkest hours and to serve with selflessness and honor. The men and women of Rome Fire, Rome Police, and Amcare Ambulance are proud to answer that call for citizens of Rome, New York. We not only respond to emergencies, but also educate, prepare, and support our community every day. Rest assured that even on our worst days, like July 16, 2024, when an unprecedented tornado ravaged our community, we will be standing at the ready, prepared to respond for you. Today we honor those who served with valor and made the ultimate sacrifice of that fateful day 23 years ago. We do so with the ceremonial tolling of the fire bell. Historically, as firefighters began their tour of duty, it was the bell that signaled the beginning of the day. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell, summoning these brave souls to battle fires, placing their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow citizens. When the fire was out, it was the bell that signaled the completion of the call. And when a firefighter died in the line of duty, it was the mournful toll of the bell that solemnly announced his passing. We use these traditions today as symbols to reflect, honor, and respect those who have given so much and served so well. To recognize the devotion these heroes had for their duty, a special signal of five tolls repeated three times over represents the end of our comrades' duties that they may return to quarters. So to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow man, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our comrades their last alarm, they are going home. Let us use this day to reflect on the lessons learned from September 11th and to renew our commitment to supporting and honoring our first responders. As we remember the heroes of that day, let us also express our gratitude to those who have dedicated their lives to safeguarding our community. Each year on this date, we dedicate plaques to deceased or retired police and firefighters. Family and friends purchase the plaques in honor of their loved ones to be memorialized here in our police and fire park. The plaques are red for firefighters and blue for police officers and they include the individual's name, years of service, and a phrase or statement as a tribute to their service. Currently, the wall suffered damage and needed to be torn down. We are going to erect a new wall that will better protect the plaque from the elements and make room for the growing number of names being added. We have one plaque dedication this evening. With the family of retired firefighter Peter M. Sestito and his, and please stand. Plaque reads, Firefighter Peter M. Sestito, 1986 to 2007. It was always more than a job. It was an honor to serve. Thank you, Pete, for your service to the citizens of Rome. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for gathering with us today as we honor and remember those whose lives 
were taken in one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. It is hard to believe that 20 years, 23 years has passed since the tragic September morning of 2001. Yet, for many of us, the memories of that day remain vivid, as at times stood still. We remember where we were, what we were doing, and how the world seemed to change forever in that single instant. On September 11, 2001, our nation was struck at its core. It was a day when unimaginable loss unfolded before our eyes. But it was also a day when heroes emerged. Ordinary men and women who demonstrated extraordinary courage. We gather here today to ensure that the bravery, sacrifice, and self selflessness of those heroes are never forgotten. Among the nearly 3,000 lives that were lost, we pay special tribute to 343 firefighters and 71 police officers who gave their lives in service to others. These 414 first responders did what they were trained to do, run towards danger when others were running away. In doing so, they made the ultimate sacrifice, and we owe them our eternal gratitude. To be a first responder is to understand that each day holds unknown risks. When you put on that uniform, you carry the weight of sacred responsibility, to protect and to serve, often at great personal cost. It takes a special kind of bravery to face reality every day. To our local police officers, firefighters, and paramedics, thank you. Your unwavering dedication to our community reflects the very best of what it means to be a public servant. You are the heartbeat of our city, and your sacrifices do not go unnoticed. As we remember the lives lost 23 years ago, let us also honor the resilience of those who survived, and the strength of the families who endured the unimaginable loss. September 11th was not just a day of tragedy, it was a day that revealed the unbreakable spirit of America. Today, let us recommit ourselves to ensuring that the legacy of those heroes' lives lives on. May we honor them, not just in memory, but action. By striving every day to be a community that values courage, compassion, and unity. May God bless you all. May God bless the city of Rome. And most importantly, may God bless the United States of America. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, I would like to invite Father uh, Brian back to the podium for the benediction. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we go forth from this ceremony today, fill us with the courage and the dedication and the love to support the men and women who defend and protect us. And watch over, Lord, particularly the New York State Police, our Oneida County Sheriff and his deputies, the Rome City Police, the Rome City Fire Department and our volunteer fire departments in the surrounding areas and the MCARE Ambulance Brigade. We ask, Lord, that you bless them, protect them and their loved ones. And we ask this in your holy name. Amen. This concludes today's ceremony. Thank you all for attending. Everybody's invited across street to the fire department uh, for coffee and donuts.